We have a really nice uh, late 70s, early, uh, I'm sorry, early 70s, late 60s uh, Fender Artist Banjo. Happens to be gold plated. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> sounds like so let's look at the banjo uh banjos uh all original with exception of uh, a lot of times they came with really uh not very strong tailpiece so this is a newer but it looks good tailpiece but every, uh it was gold plated and this is gold plated over nickel the other artists are actually uh uh chrome and chrome gives it a more of a harsh sound but this has a much more mellow sound than normal and you can see uh, very good workmanship. They do have a nice narrow neck. Uh, we'll go up the fretboard and uh, see. Now this is walnut, and walnut, whenever you uh, have a banjo with walnut, it always really stands out. Uh, Walnut's hard to find, so you don't find as many walnut banjos, so people don't know that much about them. I mean, some people say they're not good, but man, and whenever there's a walnut uh, banjo in the jam, generally it takes over no matter what the brand is. Okay, so let's look at the inside. And just a bit of history, my first banjo teacher, Robbie Robinson, uh, left Columbus, Ohio, and went to Indiana to work for Solstrom Banjo Company. What does that have to do with that? Well, Solstrom was bought by Fender, and that, uh, so Solstrom came up with this flange and stuff. Now, the fellow I bought this said that this was a solid one-piece wood rim, uh, which he felt contributed to the tone, since he had had several of the other artists, and um, he always kept this one because he... Uh, um, he really liked it so much, and it sounded so much better than the others. So that's basically it. So if you want to see some pictures of the banjo, you can go to banjowarehouse.com. Uh, you can call Andy at 404-372-5482, and or you can, uh, you can come visit us. How about that? We're about seven minutes from, from the airport, and in some cases we can even pick you up. And also, you know, if you do like these videos, go ahead and... Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that way you'll get notified when things come up. If you do decide to visit us, call us at least the day before, because sometimes we're out looking for banjos. 
So uh, we look forward to uh, hearing from you. And if you have any questions, please give us a call.